Whenever we want to download an Android app, we always go to the Play Store. However, the Play Store isn't the only place that you can find Android apps. With that in mind, here are six secret Android apps that you won't find on the Play Store. If you want to block ads on your phone, and why wouldn't you, there are plenty of different options both for rooted and non-rooted phones. However, AdGuard is one of the best that I've found. AdGuard creates a powerful firewall which will stop adverts showing on your phone. This works both in the mobile browser and within applications, so you're not going to get the annoying pop-up ads that you normally have to suffer with a lot of free apps. It's incredibly customizable, you can choose exactly which adverts you want to see. I normally use it so that unobtrusive ads still show. This means I get the best experience and developers still get money. This is running through a VPN, so it will slow your internet down ever so slightly, but all in all, this works fantastically well. You've probably used the Amazon app on your phone, but did you know there's another Amazon app called Amazon Underground? You can download this along with all these other apps from the link in the description below. This will let you get paid applications for free and it's completely legal. That's right, this is completely legal and you can download literally thousands of pounds worth of applications for free. So Radar Droid Pro, which is normally £5.50 in the Play Store, retails for nothing on the Amazon Underground app. Similarly, you can get Monument Valley, which is normally £3 for free. And you can get games like Badlands free as well. And it's not just the initial app that you can get for free, you can even get in-app purchases for free. From the Amazon Underground app, you can also download Amazon Video. And this will let you use Amazon's premium prime video streaming service on any Android phone. Normally this is limited to Kindle and Amazon devices, but if you go ahead and download it from the underground store, you can just play it on whatever you want. If any of you guys are from China, or if you're particularly into the modding community, you might know that MIUI or MIUI or MIUI, however you pronounce it, used to be a very, very popular custom ROM. And one of the best applications that came with the OS was MIUI Music. This is a completely fully featured music player where you can search for pretty much any music you want and you'll be able to find it. But the really cool thing is that through MUI Music you can actually download songs. A lot of the app is in Chinese, but if you start searching for songs you're going to be able to find them even if you don't speak a word of it. And that's pretty much it. It's a music player which lets you download whichever song you want. Next up we have Showbox, and this is a very very popular video and TV streaming app. Popcorn Time, for some reason, is still live on the Play Store, and I have no idea why, and I imagine Google will at some point get rid of it. But if you want an option which probably isn't going to go away, then Showbox is a really good one. You can download or stream your favourite movies or your favourite TV show. Again, I'm not telling you to do it, I'm just saying if you want to do it, the option is out there. And then finally on this list is an app which is very, very close to my heart, and this is YouTube Downloader. I absolutely love the stock Android YouTube app, but one thing I wish it had was the ability to download. And that's exactly what YouTube Downloader does, which is something you probably would have guessed from the name. You can download whichever YouTube video you want in all of these different formats. So if you want it in 1080p, you can. Or if you just want to download the MP3 and just have the audio, you can do that. It works really, really well. And I know there are other YouTube downloaders out there like SnapTube, and a few others, the names of which I've forgotten, but YouTube Downloader is my absolute personal favorite. So there you are guys, those are some of my favorite forbidden fruit apps that you will not find on the Play Store. Let me know in the comments below which your favorites are and if you've got any other suggestions. I'm planning at least another one or two parts to this series, so if you comment below with a really good app, then it may well make it into the next video. Again, thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button. Go ahead and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.